Hey, what's happening guys? Taking another hike today. Happy Thursday. Thanks for stopping by. Um, got a lot to talk about, so let's, I guess let's get right to it. This is the Little Harpeth River. I found this little trail that goes down to the creek. So uh, let me get my bottle of water here. And uh, let's go take a stroll and talk about what's happening. Uh, it's been a, a pretty interesting day so far. I slept great last night, stayed at the Kroger. Got up this morning, went in, uh, bought some bagels, some uh, applesauce, and some more coffee. Got back in the van, made up some nice breakfast. And uh, after breakfast, I'm finished with my coffee, and I'm in the van brushing my teeth, and there's a knock on the door. I'm like, what is going on? Well, I go to the door, and it's homeless Steve. You know, I've known this guy for months. He rides around his bicycle asking everybody to buy him beer. And there's a backstory to this, and I'll get to it after this story. And uh, I said, hey, Steve, what's happening? And uh, he says, oh, Maddie, I wanted to tell you, they got free pizza at the plumbing supply store across the street. I'm like, well, how do you know about this? He said, well, I was riding by on my bicycle, and they stuck their head out the door and uh, asked me, if I wanted some pizza. So I went in and had a few slices. He said, and I thought I better come tell you about it before they run out. And I said, well, I appreciate that, Steve, but um, you know, I don't, I don't really need any free pizza. And he says, no, no, you go get you some of that pizza. You're homeless. <laughs> so I, uh, I went over there and walked in. Sure enough, there's free pizza out for whoever walks in to get it. So I had a slice hung out for a minute and left and I came down here to the park. Now here's the backstory on Steve. Let me pan around and give you another shot of this creek. That sun's kind of bright there. So the backstory on Steve is I've called him home with Steve for months. Well here's the thing. Steve's not homeless. I saw him in a neighborhood one day. He's pushing his bicycle up a steep hill, a little too steep to pedal. And I slow down and wave and say, hey, Steve, what are you doing up here? He said, I live right around, right around the corner here. And I said, you're not homeless? He's like, no, you're the homeless one. <laughs> and then he laughs and keeps going. So that's the thing about Steve. All this time, I just assumed he was homeless because, well, to be honest, I don't know. Maybe I was very judgmental on this, but he just appeared homeless. So it turns out you cannot judge a book by its cover after all well there's some fish in this creek there's a little bass right there I don't know if you can see it so homeless Steve is concerned with me because he thinks I'm homeless and I was concerned with him because I thought he was homeless so, <laughs> so that's hilarious yeah, I even named a squirrel after him remember my video with the squirrel called him Steve because he looks like homeless Steve. Well, I guess I can't call him homeless Steve anymore. And uh, let me go over here and pick up my water bottle. That's my hydration for my hike. So, all right, all right, so there was the free pizza story and the homeless Steve story. And uh, so now I want to talk about uh, electricity needs in the van. And I've been trying to get around to this for a long time. And I wanted to uh, try to give you an idea of how much battery supply you will actually need. We all know it depends on the amount of appliances you need to run. Um, for me, all I do is I run two fans. An external fan and an interior fan. And... I have plenty of battery power. I have 120 amp hours. So I would say if that's your only power needs, most of the time you're going to be using the, uh, the auxiliary ports built into the dash of your van for charging your devices while you're driving. And if you're only going to be running fans um, in the heat of the summer, 
And of course you'll need to run the fans when you're running your propane heater in the winter just to keep the humidity down. You can do that with no problem and go for weeks without having to charge your battery bank. It's more than enough power. If you have 50 amp hours, you know, like a 50 amp hour battery, you're going to be fine. So don't want you to overthink it and think you have to have this enormous battery bank. I have twice as much as I need. So I am good to go. My laptop, I hardly ever use it anymore. My phone is an Android phone with a pretty large screen on it. So it's my entertainment. I stream videos on it. I make videos on it. Um, hardly ever break the laptop out. I only do that when I want to uh, watch a movie because the laptop is huge. It's a 17 inch screen on it. It's one of the biggest laptops I've ever seen. It takes the place of a television. And that's the only time I even turn that laptop on. It's like watch a, watch a, a movie that I can put it on full screen and watch it that way. So just wanted to kind of uh, give you some peace of mind if you think you don't have enough battery power. Um, you're going to get by just fine with like, around 50 amp hours. If you like, if you get up to 120 amp hours, you are going to be golden. No problems whatsoever. So put your mind at ease, folks, about your battery needs. They're way less than you think, but you've got to have those fans going. Um, in the summertime so you can sleep and also for mold prevention. You've got to keep that air moving. That's what I found out the hard way on my last video. So no more trying to um, uh, cut back on battery usage and cut back on fan usage. I'm running those things. Anytime I'm in the van, I've got them going. When I'm not in the van, sometimes I have it going too, just to keep the airflow. So um, we will wrap it up here, guys, from this beautiful... Harpeth River in Brentwood, Tennessee. Buddy's back in the van. Uh, he's the guard bear, the guard bear. So he's taking care of that so no one breaks in. And he says hey and be well and click the bell. Bye guys.